Welcome to Derma Discoveries HQ, your go-to channel for all things skincare. We're passionate about helping you understand your skin better and empowering you to embrace it in all its uniqueness. From the mysteries of melanin to the science of skincare, we explore it all. Today, we're diving into one of the most significant aspects of skin biology, skin tones. So whether you're porcelain or ebony, caramel or olive, it's time to celebrate your skin color. Have you ever wondered why we have different skin tones? Well, it's a fascinating story that starts with the remarkable diversity human skin. From the fairest of the fair to the deepest of the deep, our skin tones span a beautiful spectrum. This is all thanks to a pigment called melanin, a complex molecule that's produced in our skin cells. Melanin plays a crucial role in determining our skin color. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin tone will be. On the flip side, less melanin means a lighter skin tone. But it's not just about quantity. The type of melanin also matters. Eumelanin gives skin a brown-black color, while pheomelanin results in a yellow to red color. So whether you're porcelain or ebony, caramel or olive, it's all down to your melanin. It's like your skin's own personal paintbrush. Now you might be asking, what is this melanin and how does it work? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of skin science to find out. Melanin is a natural pigment, a colorant, if you will, that's found in most organisms, including humans, of course. This pigment is responsible for the color of our skin, hair, and eyes. But melanin is more than just a biological paintbrush. Its primary function is to shield our skin from the harmful effects of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. You can think of it as a built-in sunscreen, but one that doesn't wash off. Our skin cells, known as melanocytes, are the artists behind this masterpiece. These tiny cells reside in the epidermis, the outermost layer of our skin. When exposed to sunlight, these melanocytes spring into action, producing melanin to absorb and dissipate the sun's harmful rays. The more sun exposure, the more melanin produced, which in turn darkens the skin, giving us what we commonly refer to as a tan. But here's where it gets interesting. We all have roughly the same number of melanocytes, regardless of our skin color. What differs is the amount and type of melanin these cells produce. There are two types of melanin, eumelanin, which is brown or black and provides stronger protection, and pheomelanin, which is red or yellow and offers less protection. People with darker skin have more eumelanin, while those with lighter skin have more pheomelanin. It's a delicate balancing act, with our melanocytes working tirelessly to protect us while also influencing our unique skin tones. From the deepest ebony to the lightest porcelain, our skin colors are a testament to the incredible adaptiveness of the human body. But what influences how much melanin we produce? Well, there are a few key factors that come into play. Let's dive into the fascinating world of genetics and environmental exposure. Firstly, genetics plays a vital role. You see, your genes determine how much melanin your body produces. This genetic makeup is inherited from your parents and your ancestors before them. Some people are genetically predisposed to produce more melanin, leading to a darker skin tone. Simultaneously, others might have a genetic makeup that leads to less melanin production, resulting in lighter skin. But it doesn't end there. Your environment, especially your exposure to sunlight, also plays a significant part. Here's how it works. When you expose your skin to sunlight, it triggers your body to produce more melanin as a protective response. This melanin acts as a shield, absorbing and scattering the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Now, let's consider geography. People from regions closer to the equator, where the sun is most intense, tend to have darker skin. This is because their bodies have adapted over generations to produce more melanin to protect against the intense solar radiation. On the flip side, those from regions further from the equator, where sunlight is less intense, tend to have lighter skin as their bodies produce less melanin. Interestingly, this isn't just about your current location. It's about the places where your ancestors lived for generations. This is why people of the same ethnicity or race tend to have similar skin tones as they share common geographical and ancestral origins. In a nutshell, your skin tone is a complex interplay of your genetic inheritance and your environmental exposure, especially to sunlight. It's a testament to the human body's incredible adaptability 
and a fascinating example of how our bodies interact with the world around us. But remember, no matter your skin tone, it's essential to protect your skin from excessive sun exposure. Wear sunscreen, folks. How does our skin tone affect our skin health? Let's dive into the world of dermatology to find out. Our skin tone determined by the melanin we've been discussing isn't just about aesthetics. It plays a significant role in our skin health too. Skin tones on the lighter end of the spectrum, for instance, are more susceptible to sunburn. This is because lighter skin has less melanin, which acts as a natural sunscreen. Without sufficient melanin, the skin lacks adequate protection against the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Over time, this can lead to premature skin aging, and more seriously, an increased risk of skin cancer. On the other hand, darker skin tones, rich with melanin, have a natural defense against sunburn and skin cancer. The high melanin content absorbs and disperses over 80% of the sun's harmful rays, providing a natural SPF of about 13. But this doesn't mean that those with darker skin tones are entirely immune to skin-related issues. Darker skin is more susceptible to hyperpigmentation. This is a condition where patches of skin become darker than the surrounding areas due to an excess production of melanin. It can be triggered by several factors, including sun exposure, hormonal changes, and even certain medications. Hyperpigmentation can be more noticeable on darker skin, leading to uneven skin tone that many find bothersome. Dermatology, like all medical fields, isn't one size fits all. Different skin tones require different care strategies and understanding this is crucial for maintaining skin health. For instance, while those with lighter skin need to prioritize sun protection, those with darker skin need to focus on preventing and managing hyperpigmentation. So why does this matter? Because knowledge is power. Understanding the unique needs of your skin based on your skin tone can help you make informed decisions about skincare. It can guide you in choosing the right products, adopting the right habits, and seeking the right medical advice. Understanding our skin tones is more than just about aesthetics. It's about health. It's about understanding what bodies need. It's about embracing our individuality and uniqueness. Our skin tone is a reflection of our genetics. It's a part of who we are. For dermatology students and skincare professionals, understanding skin tones is crucial to creating tailored skincare routines and treatments. It's about knowing what products will work best for a particular skin tone, what ingredients to avoid, and how to treat various skin conditions specific to that tone. For the rest of understanding our skin tones can help us make informed decisions about our skincare. It can help us choose the products, protect our skin from potential damage, and ultimately maintain healthy and vibrant skin. Moving on from the importance of understanding skin tones, Let's delve into some practical advice on how you can embrace your unique skin tone. Remember, there's no one size fits all approach to skincare. What works for one person may not work for another. So it's essential to tailor your routine to your specific skin tone. Here are some general tips. If you have a darker skin tone, focus on maintaining its health and vibrancy rather than trying to lighten it. Embrace your natural melanin. For lighter skin tones, it's crucial to protect your skin from sun damage. Don't forget to wear sunscreen, even on cloudy days. For those with medium skin tones, balance is key. You might need to address both hyperpigmentation and sun damage. Always listen to your skin and treat it with care. And remember, beauty comes in all colors. Your skin tone is a part of who you are. It's something to be proud of, not something to change. So, embrace your unique skin tone and take care of it. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into different skincare routines for different skin tones. And that's a wrap for today's episode on Melanin Magic, skincare for every skin tone. We hope you found this information both enlightening and useful in your personal skincare journey. Remember, understanding your skin tone and the science behind it is the first towards nurturing it in the best way possible. If you found value in this video, we encourage you to join our Derma Discoveries HQ community by hitting that subscribe button. This way, you will have access to a wealth of skincare insights and tips tailored to your needs. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. In our upcoming episodes, we will continue to delve deeper into the world of dermatology 
exploring diverse topics that will help you embrace and care for your unique skin. Thank you for tuning in.